why are you guys here, right? Why do you want to become naturopaths? Because you think there's better things to do in healthcare, right? So, in healthcare today, we definitely have a need for optimal healthcare. Now, this is what you guys are into. Pathological versus functional health challenges, right? The functional stuff this is where all your chronic things come from. So acute versus chronic. Yeah, someone has an acute condition, you know, there's plenty of medical things for that. You know, you get them up on AHS, OHSU, up on Pill Hill there, and they're set. They have all the trauma stuff up there, they have quick surgery, things like that. That's what they're really great for. What modern medicine is not so good for is chronic disease. You know, all the stuff that people have for years and years and years they can't get rid of. And this is what eats up all the health care costs in the U.S. also. And why else do you want to do something different? Why else do you want to really get the functional things and get all these people with chronic disease as well? Because you're going to get patient referrals, right? You want to build a practice. You want a, people to come into you. So if you work with the chronic diseases, if you work from the functional instead of pathological, you're going to get patient referrals. Okay, now applied kinesiology, we're just going to refer to it as AK, is a diagnostic tool used to determine treatment in a complementary and holistic way. So applied kinesiology is not really a treatment method, it's a form of diagnosis. AK is used to find the root cause of the dysfunction instead of treating the symptoms. Once you use the system and master the, symptom, the system, you could work through in the body and figure out if something is really a root cause or not. And we're going to go and demonstrate this a little bit too, so don't worry if you don't know what I'm talking about yet. AK will let the patient's body communicate to you what it needs in what order it needs it. So wouldn't it be great if you just sat down with a patient, you were taking their history, and the patient's body just tells you what was wrong, what it needed, and what order it needed it to get well? That would make it a lot easier, wouldn't it? This is what we call the triad of health. And this is the basis of, basically, I mean, there's some other little details in here, but this is basically what all health problems stem from. Either a structural problem, a biochemical problem, or an emotional problem. Now, if you kind of work on all areas of this try to health, that's truly using holistic health care. That's truly looking at what's going on with the person. Okay, so you can see in this little slide here, if there's a structural imbalance, like say someone falls down the flight of stairs and their hip has just been out for years and years and years, that's going to cause biochemical imbalances. It's going to cause adrenal stress, there's going to be cortisol pumping through their veins, um, it's going to cause emotional stress too, I try to get to work every morning and I can't work because my hip is hurting me. So you can see how an imbalance in the structural side of this triangle could affect other things in people's health. There's a biochemical insult to the body, you know, say the person's drinking a two six packs of cores every night after work, well that can cause structural imbalances, you know, their neck might be out of place, they might have low back problems from drinking all that beer, um, it could cause inflammation in the joints, things like that. It could also cause emotional problems, you know. Of course you drink too much beer, a lot of these people get angry. Back to Chinese medicine, the liver is, has a lot to do with resentment and anger, you're overloading that liver. People telling you not to drink. Oh, no, I'm fine. I don't drink that much, you know. So it could cause an imbalance in the emotional, too. And if you have emotional stresses, you know, okay, you're getting audited by the IRS. What happens? You feel a visceral response right away, right? You might feel your stomach tighten up. You might feel um, your heart palpitations. That's biochemical changes. The emotion could affect the biochemical. Emotion could also fix the affect the structural too. I mean, who's ever had a really huff, tough day and all of a sudden you got like a cervical headache, you know, your neck's just really tight and it's just hurting. So, this is the whole person concept in applied kinesiology. When you treat all the sides of that triad of health, you treat the whole person, not just the symptom. So, if the person does have emotional stresses, you got to work on the emotional stuff and also the biochemical and structural. If you fix all of those up, you're in a straight line to the person going where they want to go in their health. Now, of course, in that triad of health, there's a couple other things. There's something called the electromagnetics that could affect the person, too. There's also something called willpower. If the person doesn't have the willpower to do what you tell them, they're not going to get well either. 
but basically, like I said, it's structural, biochemical, emotional.